We're atop Corkscrew Pass. We've just come from the east, and now we're going to check out a side road that's here uh, that just picks off. I've never been on this before. Not sure where it can go. After all, we're atop a pass. Let's take a quick look on the map of what we're talking about. This is a close-up of the GPS map. In fact, you see down here that the scale is a thousand feet between the lines, so we're not talking a huge distance here. This is Corkscrew Pass. This direction over here takes you down Corkscrew Gulch to Highway 550, uh, or you can go the other direction, either down to Silverton or up over Hurricane and California Passes and down into Animus Forks Ghost Town. So what we're going to do is right here at the very top of the pass, we're going to go down this road right here and come to where it ends at a mining area. All right, let's get back to business. We're going to get on this road and head kind of south along the top. It's a, a bit on the scary side as we get over there. And I'm going to speed things up a little bit, but only by a factor of three, because I want you to see just how carefully I'm uh, taking this uh, descent. Uh, I do not at any point want to get myself where it will be difficult to turn around. Uh, we are at 12,000 feet after all. I, I don't have that much strength, but uh, we pick our way very carefully around the corners, take a good long look ahead, and make sure that uh, if I go down there, there's a place to turn around. This was one spot that gave me pause because I couldn't see around the corner. Uh, there was a spot right there where I could turn around. So it looked pretty good. I headed on down the hill. It looks like uh, I'm on the side of a very, very steep hill, and that is absolutely correct. Ah, uh, yes, don't we like these switchbacks? Uh, but like most roads in San Juan County, there's uh, a place there where it can get some pretty good traction. So uh, I'm going on down. Here, let's just stop for a moment and take a look around at the valley. You'll notice the haze in the distance because of some fires in California. We are way, way, way up on the side of the hill, well above tree line. Those are the Red Mountains uh, in near Red Mountain Pass. So we keep on going. We'll make this one last switch back down here. And then... Uh, very quickly we'll be turning uh, and heading back down a little bit. Again, I'm always making sure that ahead of me I've got a place where I can turn around easily. And in this case, this is the last leg. We're going to end up right on that ridge there. Um, and the road ends. There was apparently at one time some mining activity here. Uh, that's why most of these old roads were put in was to access the mines. In a moment, we'll get off because the uh, road doesn't yeah. quite go to the end. Now, this is the natural wind noise up there. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back to uh, real-time speed, and we'll walk across these rocks. We're at the very, Where's very edge of this. It's starting to rain. You may ask why I'm looking down at the rock so much. That's because I don't want to misstep somewhere here. We're getting close to the edge here. Almost there, sorry about the wind noise. Well, that's Corkscrew Gulch. And I think we need to go back the way we came. I was kind of curious uh, where I was atop that ridge, so I took a good look at the GPS tracks, and I think this is an accurate uh, estimate of where that was. This is taken uh, going up the Corkscrew Pass Road. Uh, we're on one of the final switchbacks. 
the red that you see is iron and there are several mountains around here called the Red Mountains which is why we call a nearby pass Red Mountain Pass.